welcome to the next session on Access Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are going to analyze the drill bit for steady state thermal analysis. We will start by double clicking on steady state thermal. We'll first go to engineering data. For this analysis, I am going to use two materials. The first one is stainless steel which is already present here and the second material I am going to add here it is carbon steel I need to give the value of isotropic thermal conductivity the value is 52 watt per meter Kelvin next I will go to project and update project I have added two materials now. Next, I'll go to geometry and right click. I'll insert the model of the drill bit. Then I'll go to model and double click on it. Then I'll go to geometry and I'll choose the material. First I'll allocate stainless steel. Then I'll go to mesh and I'll change the sizing from coats to fine and update. Now the tip of the drill bit will be subjected to the maximum temperature. So I will insert temperature on this end the maximum value is 251 degrees celsius and on rest of the surfaces I will insert convection factor so I first select the body right click and insert convection say I'll give the film coefficient as 0 0.032 watt per mm square degree celsius next I'll go to solution and insert thermal temperature also I'll insert thermal total heat flux I also want to see the directional heat flux along the z-axis next I'll go to solution and solve we'll first check the temperature over this body when you animate you will see that most of the body is not going to conduct any temperature it is only at this tip zone that the heat is being transferred. The maximum temperature is 251 that we have given and the minimum value is 5.7264 degrees Celsius. The total heat flux over the body is 15.42 watt per mm square. That is the highest value over this body at the tip zone and the minimum value is prevalent over the entire area and the value is 4.5786 into 10 raised to minus 16 watt per mm square. The directional heat flux can also be checked over here along the z axis. You can see that the maximum heat flux that you get is 0 0.7535 watt per mm square and the minimum value is minus 14.329 over this body. So if you want to see the temperature, total heat flux, or the directional heat flux. You can just click on animate button and you will figure out the way the heat is being transferred over the body. Now we will change the material to 
carbon steel and solve once again. We'll see the temperature. Here the maximum value is 21 and the minimum is 22 degrees Celsius over the entire body. And throughout, you can see that these are the values at this zone, tip. You can animate and see the pattern of heat flow. Next is total heat flux. The value is 30.583. That's the maximum value at this zone. You can click on max and min and you'll figure out where the value is maximum. So you can just see at this zone, the value is maximum and over the most of the surface, it is minimum. Minimum value is very small, 5 to 10 raised to minus 16, what called M square. Next is the directional heat flux. You can see here the value is 0 0.0185, what per M square at this zone. And the minimum value again is minus 28, what per M square. Now using carbon steel, I am getting better values as compared to stainless steel. So if required, I can use carbon steel as a material for this analysis. Now suppose if you want to see the value of thermal conductivity of stainless steel, if you click here, it is 15.15. Now you can just change this to watt per meter Kelvin or watt per meter degree Celsius. It will not make any difference to the value. It is 15.1. But when I took up carbon steel, I entered the value 52, which indicates that the value of thermal conductivity is more for carbon steel, which means the heat will be transferred more over a period of time, over a longer distance. But it also indicates that the heat will be lost faster. As you can see, only the tip is affected and the rest of the body remains unaffected because of the heat flow. So it is obvious that if the heat transfer is faster, the heat will move faster towards this end. But also when it moves towards the zone, due to the surface area being quite high, the heat will be lost over the body. So with this, I end this session. I hope you have understood the analysis. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.